Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on Ragnarok, and today we are over at the farming outpost because we're going to be doing things with sheep. Uh, no, not those types of things. Anyway, so, we're going to be building up our sheep slaughter pen. I want to build that over here. We used to have a little bit of a workshop, but we've since moved that into the farmhouse over there. Man, that's like really glitchy looking from really far away. That sucks. But uh, yeah, we got to tame up a bunch of sheep and stuff, so I'm probably going to go out and do that now in a few minutes. But uh, guys, make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. And I just want to mention that occasionally we will be jumping from like outpost to outpost and like you'll have like a couple videos at like the outpost that we're currently at and then suddenly we're over at the desert or, you know, the farm outpost or the redwoods or, you know, eventually we're going to have tons of them. So we might even end up having different videos at different outposts every single episode. That could be a thing eventually. So yeah, um, <laughs> I just want to mention that. Also, one more thing. The video about the RG has not gone out yet, but I assume we will have a name by the time you guys are seeing this, so I just thought I'd mention that. Okay, so before we get into any of this, I quickly want to mention that this video is sponsored by Swagbucks. Swagbucks is a website where you can essentially get free money for just a few minutes of your time. All you gotta do is fill out some surveys, watch a few videos, or even playtest some games. I mean, it only takes a couple minutes to get the stuff, and once you have a decent amount of swag books, you can exchange those for gift cards on like Amazon or Steam or even just straight into your PayPal. So there is a link down below if you guys want to check it out. And if you sign up right now, you actually get a $5 bonus. So thank you to Swagbucks for sponsoring the video. Let's get into it. So I was just thinking there that bringing all these sheep back is going to be a big pain because I have to pretty much carry one at a time on the RG. But then I remembered that I have this, this grapple here. <laughs> We're going to do this the fun way. Can I get onto my RG? Okay, we gotta release the line a little bit. We can still do this, right? I, I think that we can. Is this is it working? No, it's not working. What? Where's my where's my crossbow? <laughs> I thought I had it. Did I not? Okay, does that not work or something? Okay, let me see. This is still working, right? Oh, this used to work. You used to be able to like bring sheep around. Oh, it's working now. All right, what happens when I get onto the RG then? Is it working now? This used to be a thing. Okay, I still have him, all right? I still have him. Do I still have him? No, I don't have him anymore. What the hell? Why is he flying up in the air? Oh, you know what? It's It's probably down to this really weird thing that we had with the lassos. The lassos were like... They were like latching onto the creature, okay? And with the horse, you're supposed to be able to drag the creature around. But um, but we had like this issue with the sheep. Maybe it's just to do with sheep. I'm not sure if it happens with other creatures too. But we had this issue where if you move too far away, like it's as if the sheep was just staying still and occasionally it would move. But uh, if you move too far away, the line would just break. So that's obviously what's happening. I don't know why that's not working though, because it used to work for sure. Damn, now I, I can't get them back quick. I'm literally just gonna have to bring one at a time, which sucks. Oh man, all right, well, I do think that there's some more sheep down this way, so I need to go back for that last one and then I can head down there and tame some more. Um, I wanna team up just a decent amount. I think I have, uh, what is this now? Three females and a male. I probably need uh, three more females, I'd say. So we'll, we'll have a look for those, I guess. Um, I'm just kind of dropping them here for now. So yeah, let me go get that other one, and we'll go. Came, we'll just go tame some more then, I guess. Hopefully, there's a couple more females around though. Okay, so there's a crap ton of sheep here. Let me see. What are you? 126, not a bad level. All right, I'll get you. Um, 36 female. I kind of want to tame higher levels if there are any. Let me see. 162, awesome. Nice. All right. No Siri, please. Why you... Siri's activating on my phone? I just saw it flash up. God damn it, Siri, go away. Oh, red drop. Okay, I need to go get that. Because I missed one earlier. It really sucked. It was like, uh, I went over, I opened it up, and it immediately cracked. And I think I saw, like, it looked like a Thyla saddle inside. Oh, that's another 162. Nice. But yeah, that really sucked, though. That Oh, my God. A 180 as well? Holy crap. Okay, hang on. How many do we have here? Uh, 188. You must have been the 126. Um, this is four. What are you? Level 60 male. Um... You're level 36 female. You know what? I think these four will do, and I'm probably going to hurt them over instead of flying them back, because it will take a little bit longer to fly back and forth and back and forth, where I could just have them follow me, because the farm is literally just up and around that way. So yeah, um, let's go get this red drop as well. I think I could probably get these sheep back, and then the red drop will be down at that stage. All right, come on, sheepies. Come on. 
Okay, so that kind of now looks like a purple drop for some reason. I don't know why. Look at it. Looks like a purple drop. What is it? Is it red or purple? I can't even tell at this stage. It's like so confusing looking. It looks like it's purple now, but it honestly looked like it was red. Still kind of looks like it's red from a distance. I mean, it's, it's usually pretty hard to tell in the sky like that. You kind of have to have it against something, but I don't know. Maybe it looked like it was red because of the blue sky. I don't know what it is, to be honest. <laughs> All right, we're almost at the farm here. We just got to lead them in pretty much now. And then we'll head over and grab that drop. So I'll just keep you guys here for the moment. Um, I just want to say that this little farm thing here, this is fantastic, but I've been finding packies all over the place, and it's really annoying. <laughs> like, I had to fly back two packies so far. I don't know how they're getting out, but they are getting out somehow. Let's just go ahead and unfollow. I can bring them the rest of the way in a minute. Let's go get this drop before it, like, wears down and I forget about it, and then it breaks before I can get to it. But, uh, yeah, packies are freaking getting out. I don't even know. Like, I found two down here. It was crazy. Oh, man. Yeah, this is definitely a purple drop. It seriously looked like it was red. I, I'm not colorblind. Like, it seriously looked like it was red from down there. I don't know why. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's grab it anyway. I mean, purple drops are usually pretty good. Hopefully, it's some nice blueprints that we need. All righty. What the hell's that? Oh, it's the little pile of rocks. Okay. That was confusing looking. <laughs> Look like a person for some... for like a second. Uh, oh yeah, great. Oh no, that's a fantastic game. No, that's that's really really great. Um, thank you for that. <laughs> okay, so let's get started on this. Let's grab a couple walls here. So I want to just build it up here. We're gonna have like the breeding pen over this side, I think, and the like slaughter end over here. So maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll just build up the walls completely at the back there, and we can kind of sort it out after. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll just make it like a self-contained building. I was thinking of having it, like, more open, but... Yeah, we could make it, like, a self-contained building with, like, a roof and whatnot. Let's go ahead and grab some more of these. So, I want to chuck some up here. The entrance is going to have to be probably around here, I'd say. We can make all of this over here as the breeding pen. Also, we're going to need to stick a window on here. Because... Yeah, we, we don't really want them to be able to, like, walk through a window. Or else maybe we could have the thing on that side and the breeding pen on this side. Yeah, that would make more sense, actually, because then I could do, um, I can kind of do, like, a rail or something so they can see out into the, uh, the field or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. Go to place up some more walls here, then. So this is where the entrance is going to be, then. Yeah, that makes more sense. It really does. Um, probably just pull these away for the moment. Actually, you know what? We're going to need to not use wooden railings. Because I believe that baby sheep can actually walk through them. So I'm going to need to use something else. I have a crap ton of wooden railings. Um, I think we might have some stones somewhere. But, yeah, I'm going to have to change that up in a few minutes. So let's just see. I'll mark it out anyway with the uh, with the wooden railings for now. And we want to, like, kind of get the slaughter part done. And let's see. Um, so it's going to be, like, in around here. We'll probably have, we're going to have to get, like, a door frame or something in. Can I pull resources or am I too far? Let's see, door, door, door. Let's go for a double door. Where's the double door frame? There we go. Uh, so can I pull that or am I too far? I can, sweet. All right, we might actually be able to pull the resources for the stone one, if I can find it. Where's the stone one? Stone railing, I don't see it. Uh, it's probably here somewhere. There we go, okay. So let's see, we want Probably like, let's say 18 of those. Sweet, okay. That's, oh my god, it's so handy. I love the way that you can pull things in S+. Plus. Like, I'm not anywhere near where our little workshop is. It's all the way over the other side of the farm, but I can just pull resources straight from the workshop and craft stuff on the go. So great. Honestly is. All right, so bam, bam. Um, let's put the door over here. Awesome, and we're gonna need an actual door for that as well. Let's go for one of these. What? Oh, you know what? It's probably because we're crafting this that we can't actually pull for that. Sometimes there's a bit of a bug. Let's see. There we go. All right. So we got our stone railings here, and we're gonna need to open up the back as well. And Put some stone stone railings here too. 
We can put wood ones up above. Can I have it like open to the field there so you can kind of see out? Um, but we can't use the wooden ones because I'm pretty sure like I think I remember from when we've done something like this before that the baby sheep can actually pass through these little gaps Which means that we would have like a breed explosion and I hate having to clean those up. Those are super annoying um, So let's see I'm gonna chuck these back and let's get some more walls in here And Over here as well Just kind of build up the second layer first I think then we can go from there. All right, cool. Uh, we're not gonna put anything across here. So yeah, I think actually we could probably just go by another and then maybe from here we can kind of do the roof or maybe we can start on each end. Yeah, we'll have to get the slopey bits. I don't actually have those crafted yet. So yeah, that's the height of the roof then, cool. Let's see, we have the grill. So we wanna kind of place that, actually, you know what? Let's get the door in first. Sort this out. There we go. Um, where do we want to put the slaughtering part? We can do this cool thing with a railings and a catwalk. So probably like over here, I'd say. Uh, we could do the grill over that end and do this thing here, maybe. Like, okay, let's see. There. There. And then we get the catwalk. It goes across. It's kind of like a table where you, I, I mean, I don't know. You like chop up sheep here, probably. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's that's our little slaughtering part. We're probably gonna get like a sheep herder in here or something, so you can kind of stand beside that. Um, and then we want to get our grill in as well. So probably put the grill over here then. Let's see. Try to line this up a little bit. Don't want that peeking through. And into the corner. It's slightly off. There we go. I think that should be okay. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, awesome. So we gotta get a little bit of gas to this. Do I have some on me? I think my RG has some. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, okay. So let's get the sheep in here now, I think. Okay. You know what? It's probably easier if I just drop them in. That will definitely be easier. So unfortunately our male is not like a different color from the rest, which sucks, but it is what it is. I mean, like, I couldn't find a decent level male that was like a different color, like a ginger or something. Let's see, we got, how many sheep is this? Seven? Eight? I think it's seven, right? Five, yeah, seven. They're all decent-ish levels as well. Okay. Let's put you in there. <laughs> it's so funny just like dropping them all in. Alright. Nearly hit that one off the roof. So you go in there as well. And then you. And we gotta put the last one in now as well. Also, actually, crap, I just realized I should have placed down... I have, like, thatch ceilings for where they're going to be, like, walking in. I should have placed those down before. <laughs> Oops. All right, hopefully we can still place them. Uh, there they are. I think we could still place them. Yeah, we can. We should be able to. Kind of sets the mood a little bit more, you know? Sheep wouldn't be, like, standing on wooden floors. Um, so the idea is that whenever we are coming in here to get sheep, what we'll do is we'll turn on the mail. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. We'll, uh, we'll hit wander on the mail <laughs> and, uh, and all of the females will already be on wander. They're always going to be on wander. Um, and they're all going to just start mating with the male and then we're going to produce, what is this, like six babies at minimum? More, obviously, if we get like twins and triplets and all that good stuff. But um, we're going to produce like a crap ton of sheep and then we can let those grow up and then just slaughter like six of them whenever we want. And that's just like an easy way of getting mutton. So let's chuck, yeah, let's, uh, let's chuck up the rest of the pieces here. So I need the left and right sloped bits. Um, I can never see them in here. There they are. Okay, cool. So I'm going to need two of those. 
Uh, so let's craft those. Then two of these as well. And then we need the thatch roofs as well. It's probably just easier just to type it in. Let's see. Um, so we're gonna need how many of those? I think maybe let's go with uh, 18 for now. I think that should be enough. Maybe it's like, I think 20. I don't know, how long is this building? Three and, okay, so it's 24 is what we need. So I can craft up a couple more of those. So I need another six. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> we gotta wait a sec. All right, so let's chuck these pieces up then. What? Game, why? Why does that happen? I clearly don't want to place it like that. All right. <laughs> Got the sheep wandering already. It's, it's kind of annoying. Oh, what? Ha what? What? Did I make basic ones? I think those are basic ones. Yeah, those are basic ones. Damn it. Uh, I don't, do I have a converter over here? I don't even think I've... God damn it. I don't even think we have one of those. Oh, well, okay. You know what? I'm just going to craft another two on the go. Uh, slope. So, yeah. I crafted a freaking normal one by accident. Let's craft two of these. Okay, we got to wait for the ceilings to go first. God damn it. All right. Let's place these up anyway. Please. Okay. No, these are normal thatch roofs. Oh god, it's terrible. What am I doing? All right, I'm gonna need a converter. I'm I'm not gonna. God damn it! <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, so those go in there. Those go in there. What else normal did I craft? Nothing. Okay. Convert all. Sweet. So now they're S plus. <sighs> Let's see. Do that. Do that. We need to craft another six of those. So roof. Let's not craft these. Which one is it? It's this. It has the same picture as like a ceiling for some reason. This one's different, but I don't know. That's weird. Um, let's go ahead and pull enough for six of those. And get these things placed. Eh, why? I don't want to place it there. Why are you making me place it there? There we go. Get up these other ones here. No. Please. Eh. Okay. This is becoming an issue. <laughs> yeah. No. I can't reach it. <sighs> okay. We're gonna need the RG. <laughs> it's the only way. Alright. Let's uh, place this down. we go there we go see so much easier now so much easier now we're gonna need to build up a wall over here though or no actually that's gonna connect to the other roof isn't it cool now that works I'm gonna need to to paint the top though so it actually blinds them with the other roof all right Let's see. So I have some ramps here. Let's turn these to stairs. Stairs. Chuck those back. Those are good. Those are good. I'm going to need this. And I need to place down that. And I can chuck this in here. Cool. So let's put this over here. This is where I'm going to keep the sword. Because if you guys don't know, when you walk up to a sheep and you have like a melee weapon in your hand you actually get like a different option so you can slaughter them uh, so it just basically one, one hit kills them I guess it doesn't even I don't think it takes up durability or anything I'm not extra, I'm not too sure about that but uh but yeah you pretty much just slaughter them immediately so let's go ahead and get these guys breeding um oh you know what you gotta name him um horny there we go. 
He's got to start breeding with all the females now, I think. Where is he? Ready to mate. Okay, all the females are a little bit skittish, but eventually he'll learn the way. Come on, guys. Start doing it. <laughs> Actually, let's have a look at this building from a distance. Eh, doesn't look too bad, actually. I was hoping that it would fit in, and yeah, it kind of does. Needs a little bit extra detail on the, on the outside, but all in all, it's pretty good. This is nice here, actually, the way that you can see in. I like that. Alright, so they should be breeding now, I think. How does it intersect with all of this? Does it, like, pop through or anything? Yeah, you can kind of see the thatch, but that's okay. Nice. Alright, so we gotta wait for all these guys to pop out some babies. Are they all doing it? Oh, yeah, everybody's doing it. Alright, cool. <laughs> no way, he's, he, he doesn't like this one. I don't know, maybe it's... Hopefully it's not because of the color. Okay, no, he's now he's doing it. All right. <laughs> Thought we had a racist sheep there for a second. All right, cool. <laughs> okay, so it's a little while later now, and we have a bunch of sheep bred up. So as you can see, um, oh, it's kind of hard to see. The male that we had from the start is called Horny. All the females are called Share Me Winky Face. And uh, yeah, essentially what we're going to do is we can just come in here and tell which ones were the originals, and then just slaughter all the rest. So let me go ahead and get this little sheepy out of here. Don't want the other sheep to see what's gonna happen. Come here, buddy, it's fine. Everything's fine, what are, what are you worrying about? Come on, come on out here, sit up here on the metal table covered in blood. <laughs> oh man, all right, so let's go ahead and slaughter the sheep. Uh, is this gonna even happen? There we go, oh, awesome. So you just hold down on this option and bam. Dead, oh God, what's happening? You know what, I should probably not be using that. My pick is better. Let's go ahead and use this. <laughs> so yeah, this is essentially the farm. You get like hide, pelt, and mutton from this farm. Really awesome. And I mean like it's not too difficult to do on this server as well with our maturation rates and our breeding rates and everything. So I mean I could just keep breeding and just get thousands of mutton. Oh my god, this thing's giving me a lot. We have, by the way, we have 2.5 times gather rates. What the hell? Why am I getting like 700? I think it's because it's a high level. I think the higher the level on mutton, you're... Okay, we got 600. I think the higher level the sheep, the more mutton that you get. That's crazy, though. All right, so where's the rest? To be honest, we don't even need to bring them out here, but, you know, <laughs> it's just for comedy effect, I guess. Oh, why is there two slaughter options? That's disturbing. Oh, why do they have to, like, crush into a little ball? I don't like that. <laughs> Oh man, all right, so let's slaughter up the rest of these sheep and let's talk about something. So guys, obviously earlier on in the video, there was a sponsor. Um, and now, I just wanna mention that this isn't gonna become like a regular thing or anything. Like you're not gonna see these in every video, just occasionally, and I hope you guys are okay with that. It helps me out, I mean like right now, I'm in the process of like trying to buy property and like, why am I not hitting it? Okay, now I am, okay, cool. So yeah, I'm in like the process of trying to buy property and like, set up my office so I can do more things YouTube wise and like I've got a lot of things planned for when I have that office set up oh my god 700 are you kidding me my god this is a lot <laughs> but yeah um when the whole office and everything is set up we're gonna have like tons of new things coming here like more regular videos some more stuff on the second channel which I occasionally post on um yeah just a lot of awesome stuff and I really want to get all that but like God damn, the it's, the equipment and everything is so expensive, and like I'm probably gonna be getting like some free stuff for in exchange for some sponsorships, like chairs and some other things like that. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just kind of how it goes, pretty much. <laughs> oh my god, this button is crazy. I'm like hitting our sheep. Now I realize why I should not keep them in the pan while doing this. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are okay with it. Um, obviously not every video, just occasionally, and uh, yeah, it's just how things go. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. We have a crap ton of mutton. Um, I've got some gas from the generator. I actually want to keep some on me just so I have some. But yeah, we're just going to let all this cook up now. Oh, man. This has been a really awesome project. It's working really well as well. Did I not kill you? What? Did I have, like, an extra one? All right, you know what? You're just going to become a shear me from now on. Oh. That's for my schedule? <laughs> I was, like, working on my schedule thing, and apparently I... Yeah, all right. Uh, shear me. I thought I still had that thing, uh, copied. Shear me. There we go. Awesome. Uh, don't escape. Stay in here. 
yeah, so I, I actually have like a big Excel document where I just kind of schedule things, so like while waiting, I guess, <laughs> for the things earlier, for like the sheep to grow up, I was like managing that and replying to a couple emails. I guess I completely forgot that I didn't even have that thing copied anymore. But um, yeah, we're making up our cooked lamb here for now. That's going to feed me for a good bit. So yeah, we're just going to cook up all of this here and uh, and probably bring a lot of it back. And um, we might even actually bring back some mutton. You know what? I'm going to bring back a stack of 2,000 mutton. And then the rest is going to be the, uh, the lamb chop, cooked lamb or whatever it's called. So yeah, guys, that's probably going to be it for today. I can't really see anything else that we could do here. I do need to leave the sword in here though for sure. Um, so there we go. Didn't really take too much damage at all, which is awesome. But, um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys want to see more like this, you can subscribe as well, of course. And as always, I will see you in the next one.